A parabola is defined as follows: for a given point called the focus, and a given line not through the focus called the directrix. A parabola is the locus of the point such that the distance to the focus equals the distance to the directrix. According to this definition, any point on the Parabola. The distance to the focus, let's label as D1, will be equals to the distance to the directrix, let label as D2. So D1 always equal to D2. The distance between vertex and focus we label as P. Vertex to the directrix also that's P. Through the focus, if you draw parallel line to directrix, intersect this parabola. According to the definition, the distance will be two p. For parabola, we have a horizontal parabola. The equation will be this one. This equation will be the vertical parabola. For the focus of a parabola, is always inside the curve. The distance to the vertex we call this is a p, and a vertex to the directrix is p. P equals Absolute value of one over four a. Then a equals plus or minus one over four p. If you draw the perpendicular line through this focus, then intersect this parabola, the distance will be two p. We use this property to sketch the graph. Before we graph a parabola, let's draw a conclusion. For equations of a parabola, x equals means a horizontal parabola when a less than zero open to the left, when a greater than zero open to the right. Remember, remember, focus always inside the curve. The distance between vertex and focus that's p. The distance between vertex and directrix that's p also. Through focus, if you draw parallel line to directrix, the distance will be two p. For vertical parabola, when a greater than zero, open up; when a less than zero, open down. The focus still inside the curve. Then the distance between focus and a vertex, that's p, from vertex to directrix, distance will be p also. Then from focus, if you draw a parallel line to the directrix, the distance you will get. A Two p. For this graph, the directrix will be over here. Then directrix will be here for this graph. Now analyze each parabola and a graph it. For number one, you have to know how to predict the graph. For Before you really sketch the graph, for y equals 
That means uh, vertical parabola. A is a positive. That's why it's open up. Then the focus will be here inside the curve, and then directrix uh, will be here. The distance between vertex and the directrix that's p. We know the p equals one over four a to the absolute value. Then from focus, if I draw horizontal line, that will be two p. Then we work on a and p. A is one over four. P will be one over four times one over four. That equals one. For vertex, whenever you have square means a layer. Therefore, this is h, this is k. For vertex, you have negative three one. Now we can sketch the graph. We have negative three one. That's here. That's the vertex. According to this uh, graph, I go up one. That's the focus. Go down one. That will be directrix. Then from focus, right to left to, you will get the points uh, on the parabola. Then you connect these three points. That's the parabola. Because for 2p equals 2, this is p equals 1. We can draw axis of a symmetry like this. We could say x equals negative 3 will be axis of a symmetry because that's a vertical line. For focus, you can get from the graph or you can calculate. We have negative 3 and 1. I go up 1. So I add 1 to the y. Then I get the focus. That will be negative 3, 2. For directrix, I do negative 3, 1. I go down 1, so minus 1. You will get the y equals 0. That's the directrix. On the graph, you have to show this information. Where is the focus? Where is the directrix? And what's the axis of a symmetry? For number 2, we have to predict the graph. This will be open down because A is a negative. Then focus is inside the curve. This will be P. And uh, this is P. So the graph like this. From the focus, I draw parallel line to the directrix. This will be 2P. We know A equals negative 1 half. So P equals absolute value of 1 over 4A. We plug in. You will get 1 over 2. For vertex, you will get 3 negative 1. So you will get the 3 negative 1 is here. We go down one half a unit, we got the focus. We go up one half units, we got directrix. Then from the focus, you draw the parallel line to directrix for 2p units, that means 1. You got here and here. Then I can connect the points, these three points. Then we can draw 
the axis of、uh, symmetry. Therefore, axis of symmetry equals x equals three. Your symmetry either x equals three or y equals negative one. So look at the vertex. For the focus, I write down the vertex three and a negative one. You go down one half unit. That's why I subtract one half from y. Then I will get the focus. That will be three negative three over two. That's the focus. From vertex, I go up one half units. I add one half. You will get a directrix. Y equals negative one half. So we write down focus will be three, negative three over two. Directrix will be y equals negative one half. For number three, this is x equals. We can predict the graph like this. Since your a. Is a negative one less than zero, so open to the left. Inside will be focus, and a directrix will be like this. This will be P. From the focus, I draw parallel line to directrix that will be two P. This is P also. Then we're working on a that's negative one. For p equals absolute value of one over four a. Therefore, equals one over four. For vertex, this is a k. Here's h. So one and negative two. Get the one negative two. It's here. Then I go to the left, one over four unit. That's here. You will get the focus. Go to the right, one over four unit. You will get the directrix. Then for two p. That equals、uh, one over two. So from focus, I go up one half unit. Go here. Go down one half unit. Go here. Then I connect、uh, these three points. This will be the graph. I draw. Axis of symmetry. For axis of symmetry, we know y equals negative two. Focus. I get one negative two. I go to the left one over four unit. Therefore, minus one over four. You will get the focus. Three over four negative two. For one negative two, that's vertex. I move to the right、uh, one over four unit. Therefore, I add one over four to the x coordinate. As you move to the right, so we got the x equals five over four. Focus three over four and negative two. Directrix x equals five over four. For number four. We predict the graph like this. Open to the right because that's x equals and a is positive. Focus is over here. Directrix over here. Then this will be p. This is p. Then this one is will be two p. We will get the a is one over four. P equals absolute value of one over four a. 
therefore p equals one. Vertex. This is h. Here's k. Square means a liar. Therefore, we got negative three two. Now we sketch the graph. We got negative three and a two is here. Go to the right、uh, p unit. This is your focus. Move to the left、uh, y unit. We got this one is a directrix. Then from this、uh, focus, I go up two p units. That's two. Go down two p units. Go here. Then I connect、uh, this is three points. That's our graph. Then I draw axis、uh, of a symmetry. Therefore, we got the y equals two. Your focus that will be negative three two. Since I move to the right, I add to the x coordinate plus one. You got a focus that is negative two two. For coordinate of a vertex, we have negative three two. Since I move to the left one unit, that's minus one to the x coordinate. We got、uh, directrix that x equals negative four. That's it.